What's up guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are checking out the Xenix Titan GX Air Wireless. It's basically a wireless S2 clone and it's the same exact shell as on the Pony Symmetrical. The build quality on this one is great. There is no flex, no creaking and the mouse feels all in all well built in hand. But this is what we want to expect from a mouse that's not exactly lightweight as it weighs around 78 grams. Although it's built very well, it does not feel a premium in hand as it has that sort of OEM kind of coding. But the coding is grippy and there seem to be no fingerprints after about two weeks of use for me. It is at least good for my slightly sweaty hands. As it is an S2 clone, the mouse is ambidextrous, but there are only side buttons on the left side. The back shell is changeable, there is one without holes and one with holes. It also has some RGB, but let's take a closer look when I show you the drivers. The sensor in the Xenix Titan GX Air Wireless is the 3370 from Pixar. The sensor is great and it's well implemented, there is pretty much no DPI deviation and the polling rate is stable. The motion delay is very low, it's comparable to Givo's Hadiyas Wireless and the SteelSeries Aerox 3 Wireless, which in practice means that it does lose the Logitech and Razer, but you really do not feel the difference in game. It pretty much feels like a wired mouse, and I'm very impressed with this wireless implementation. The battery life is also quite good. I used the mouse for about 5 days before I actually charge it. Moving on to the main mouse buttons, and the switches on those are Omron 20Ms. These buttons are easy to actuate and tactile, and they are very good for gaming. Really easy to spam click, which is very important for me. There is side play on both the buttons when I try to force it, but nothing that I've felt in real use. There is some post and pre-travel, the pre-travel sort of makes the clicks feel a little bit cheaper than they could be. But still, the click feeling is absolutely great for gaming. The buttons are also very consistent, it does not matter that much where you click the button from. And even the left and the right click feel pretty much exactly the same. For the side buttons, my front side button is a little bit screwed. It's very mushy and the click feeling is very bad, but this is just in my unit. The backside button then again has some pre and post travel, but the feeling is still tactile and nice. This is what the side buttons are meant to feel like, and I can easily recommend these for gaming and general use. But hopefully you guys won't have the same issues with the front side button as I have. The scroll wheel is very nice. Scrolling is very light, and the steps are still quite defined. The scrolling experience is very smooth, and I do like this kind of scroll wheel. Even the scroll wheel button is easy to actuate. For the feet, I could not find that much information about them, but they seem to be a PTFE and the glide is good on speed pads. With some control pads they are very slow though. For example with the game sense radar there is way too much friction for my liking. Then I can with the artisan high end and the endgame gear NPC 450 the glide is good and there is more stopping power than normally. Which is definitely not a bad thing for the end game gear NPC 450. By the way guys we are on our way to 5000 subscribers so if you enjoy my content hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about the shape a little bit. So I already mentioned that this is pretty much a Zowie S2 clone. And yes, it does feel very similar in hand. But this mouse is a little bit higher in profile, but we are talking about a millimeter at most. That millimeter does make a difference, as it does feel that there is more rooms on the sides on this one compared to the S2. And the texture space is quite nice in my opinion, as the side buttons on the left side are quite large. All in all, for me and my hand size, this shape is quite good for claw grip and fingertip grip, but for palm grip it's just too short. The main issue that I have with this mouse and the Zawi S2 is the height profile. If you've watched my content previously, you know that I'm a massive fan of the Extra 542 and the uh, Vaxi Outset AX, and the thing is that the M42 is very low profile and the Outset AX is quite high profile. And both of these feel very good for me in claw grip, and I just end up feeling like this mouse should be a little bit lower profile or higher profile. But there are plenty of people who do love the Zawi S2 shape, and for those people, this mouse should be a top choice. But did I actually enjoy gaming with the Xenix Titan GX Air Wireless? Well, to be honest, not that much. I already kind of explained to you guys that I do not like these mice that are not really high profile and not really low profile either, but they are sort of middle tier in terms of height. I can definitely aim well with the mouse, but it's just the fact that it does not feel comfortable for a longer session for me that makes me sort of play worse with it. The performance of the mouse is definitely not the reason why I do not enjoy gaming with it, as the wireless performance is extremely good considering that this is sort of an unknown brand. I mean the motion delay can be compared to the likes of Razer Viper Ultimate and the Super Light. It's not exactly as low, but you still won't feel any difference to those mice. I usually have this section in my videos where I talk about my in-game performance with the mouse, but to be honest, with most mice my in-game performance is pretty much the same 
So I kind of feel that is useless and I so I rather talk to you guys about how much do I actually enjoy using it as I think enjoying using a mouse and finding it comfortable and feeling good with it is one of the main keys to long term uh, good performance. Even though I use these mice for much longer than any other reviewer in the platform most likely, 2 weeks, 3 weeks, 4 weeks is still not a long time. So yeah, I perform well with the Xenix Titan GX Air Wireless, but to be honest, I much rather use the Hardy S Wireless as my daily driver for wireless products. Even with all the creaking, I do still think that this is a top tier product. But yeah, I should have my top 5 wireless mice video out in about 3 to 4 weeks. I paid about 80 euros for the mouse and I do have to say that the value for money is pretty incredible here. Well built, good clicks, good wireless tech, good sensor and a nice shape for those who like the Zowie S2 shape. I bought it from eBay myself and I guess that's the best place to buy the mouse from if you're from the US or Europe. I can definitely recommend this mouse to you guys if you wanted a wireless Zowie S2. This is a better option to the Bonich Arch Custom Symmetrical as the clicks, the wireless tech, the sensor and the battery life are all better. But that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.